people meet me for the first time, they seems to think I am deaf cause I can't verbally talk. It gets me irritated cause every time I need to explain to them that I can actually understand what you are saying. I have a disability called meningitis, cerebral palsy and I was diagnosed at a very young age. My movements are stiff, it affects physically, because some things are harder, which I try to be independent as much as possible as I can. I've had to witness him dealing with people, looking at him, you know, every time we go out. And that communicates with people through a device on his iPad, um, and literally, you can type on it and it speaks out aloud. He does have a voice, but obviously growing up with him, I've learned to adapt and understand him. When I was young, I used to nick my mum phone, just to film around it, I love it. Just to capture moments that can inspire or change the perspective of a person's view. I first started with like pictures and photography as well, and um, I used to love editing. You would do his look and I'll teach him as well. I'll be like, look Nadal, if you try that, look look at the effect it makes. And he was just fascinated. I would like to become a director, telling powerful, inspiring stories about people and producing documentaries and films on like films, festivals, Netflix, YouTube and other platforms. my own production company called Visionary Films. This is my room where I edit all of my videos. Nadal is more than capable of doing anything that anyone can do, you know what I mean? But a lot of people don't like to give him the chance to. I think often we don't think about intersectionality and that's really important when thinking about diversity, making sure that how different um, people's different characteristics and different identities interact. So looking at disability and looking at race um, and looking at gender and see how all these things can interact is, is so important. I think in the film industry, being black and as well as having a disability pays a difficult part because they lack representation like myself. We've applied for so many schemes, but um, a lot of them haven't even got back to us. It's hard especially like a person with a disability to get into film and TV industry. Although I have had work experience through my internship course at my college at that time which helped me to get the opportunity to get work with Crystal Palace Football Club media team that was a year ago. I learned that the opportunities doesn't come to you. You have to look for opportunity yourself. There's not one easy solution. We need to look at why black people are not represented properly in the industry. We need to look at why disabled people um, are not represented properly in the industry. And it's not as easy as just combining those two things to come to a solution or come to an answer as to why a disabled um, black person is not represented in the, in the industry. That person will ha have specific problems which you will not have when it comes to black people and disabled people will not have. There'll be unique issues and we need to look at different people's unique issues and treat them as individuals. To some ex extent, uh, his disability does affect him. Um, he's got the confidence, but sometimes when he does go out there, it's the way people look at him and they might judge him, you know what I mean? I think that what, that's the only thing that might bring him a bit down, but he does have a drive and he does keep on going. And yeah, that's good. I support Nadal physically, mentally, um, any way I can, like, just to keep him motivated and keep him active. So while I can go out and I can campaign and I can talk about problems within the industry and I can talk to commissioners and I can talk to executives and say that you should implement this policy or that policy, um, that's all well and good, but just employ people. You know, the, the best thing that I've ever done is just employ people. Need more media opportunities, not only for able people, 
that includes every ability is whether it be a person that's in a wheelchair or a person that uses walking stick. A message I'll give to um, the industry out there is that that people that Nadal or Baba, they have so their minds are so creative and they got so much to show but they, they don't allow them to to have the opportunity to to present that to them. And if they just give them a chance then if you don't know what what more they can bring to the table. So I just think they should give people that Nadal the opportunity to be able to show them what they have and what, what they can do. Never give up on your dreams. A million no's can lead to one yes.